right. What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be going over my three favorite Shopify apps that I have for my Shopify store. I'm going to order these from my most favorite. Well, they're all my favorite. So they're all great apps. I'm gonna start with the one that I probably use the most. So I go into it every other day basically and use to the one that kind of does, you know, it's automations by itself and I just let it sit. All super profitable, probably the three most profitable apps that I have in my Shopify store today. So yeah, let's get into this video. What's up guys? My name is Hannah Gardner. If you are new to the channel, I talk about anything and everything about e-commerce and building brands online. So if that is something that you're into, please do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, I wanted to announce for the first time ever live here on YouTube that I am launching some courses for you guys of basically every single thing that I've built, just a really more in-depth you know, avenue for you to get information about what I've built, some case studies on my seven figure store, as well as mini courses that just really teach you the nuts and bolts of what it's like to build a brand online. I have built a storefront called the Bosscom store. That link is in the description. Not all of my courses are available as of today recording this video, but you can sign up to get notified when new courses drop. And then obviously there's going to be a master course that you can purchase that will not only give you access to the biggest course, <laughs> which is going to be a full case study of my seven figure store, but it's going to give you access to any future courses that I launch in the future. So check that link out and sign up if you would like to get notified for my course launches. Back to my top three Shopify apps that I personally love and use the most. The first Shopify app that I want to talk about is one called Omnisend. Omnisend is an email hosting software where essentially when you get customers going to your Shopify store or if someone signs up for your email list, Omnisend hosts all of my email data. This is really, really important and probably one of the top drivers of sales in my store altogether. Email marketing is not dead and I would say maybe like 50 to 60% of all of my follow-up income that's generated comes from sending out emails. Not only just emails of like sales and stuff like that, but with OmniSend you have the opportunity to set up something called automations. Automations are emails that fire automatically when your customers who sign up for your email list perform certain actions. For instance, if they signed up for my intro offer, which was 15% off your first purchase in a pop-up form, say they go and add some items to cart, but they actually abandon cart, then you can send them follow-up emails via OmniSend that would encourage them to check out. So as you can see, my abandoned cart flow has generated me this much money since I've launched my store. As you can see in all of my automations here, you can just look at the numbers and see how much extra added revenue that OmniSend has generated me. And this is being calculated by when somebody actually clicks through the email and makes a purchase from that email alone. As you can see, the numbers are, <laughs> they don't lie for themselves. Having follow-up is so important. So abandoned cart is the first one that I just mentioned. I also have other automations going like browse abandonment. Browse abandonment is when somebody has signed up for your email list, has not purchased, and they were just browsing on a product. Maybe they didn't abandon cart, but they were just looking at it. OmniSend has storing data and tracking, you know, where your customers are going on their website. So it's actually gonna automatically send them an email showing them that same product that they were looking at but did not purchase. Other automations that I have are customer reactivation flows where 30 days after a purchase, we send them an email just trying to reactivate the relationship between the customer as well as other things like shipping confirmations and post-purchase upsells. All of these automations are super key drivers to running my business. I've worked with a lot of email hosting softwares. I personally love OmniSend the most just of the ease of it and just the organization of it and the price point of it does happen to be cheaper because email marketing, if you know, can get expensive. <laughs> I do have a coupon code that you can use if you do want to try out OmniSun as well as a free trial in my description. So you can check out all of its features and really uh, skyrocket your retargeting and your sales for your own store. The second software that I am absolutely obsessed with is a software called Luke's. Luke's is a re auto review generator software.
software. So just like you see here on my website, I have a bunch of different listings and within those listings, you can see that I have reviews. Reviews are not only essential to your store and up your conversion rate, but it gives you an immense amount of social proof. So the beautiful thing about these apps is because of these automations, they really require little to no work. With OmniSend, the only thing that you really have to do is if you want to send out a, you know, a one-off broadcast for a sale or something like that, you do have to go and create that email. But with, on the other side of that, there's a lot of automated features that continuously are running your store without you having to do any manual labor. So with that being said, with Luke's, not only is it going to collect reviews for you, but it's also going to automatically send those emails asking your customers for reviews 14 days after after their product is delivered. Hey, it gets even better. So even though not only is it going to ask for the reviews, but it's going to offer them a discount if they do leave a photo review or a video review. Competing with Amazon is only going to become more competitive. People are used to being able to read hundreds of reviews, see video testimonials, product photos from actual customers. So it's super, super important that you have all of this social proof. And with Luke's, like I mentioned before, there's so many more features than just collecting the review. They do have an upsell feature and now they actually do integrate with Google. So you can now per, like push your reviews to Google. So when somebody searches your website and searches your product, like searches a product and they see your, your product on Google, it will show the reviews on Google as well. So a bunch of new features that are constantly being pushed out. This is definitely with email. <laughs> this is just as important as key app that you, or even if it's not looks, you need to have reviews being collected on your website super super huge and my final most important favorite Shopify app that I use is my SMS marketing tool which is called attentive I'm not sure if attentive is available yet in the Shopify app store usually you have to go through their onboarding process which you can always email me and I can connect you to my rep but I will check and if it is available I'll add the link to attentive in my description attentive is an SMS software so along with email SMS is is the most profitable app that I have. And what that does is just like with OmniSend where I can send browse abandonment, card abandonment, shipping confirmation, emails, I can also send text messages. People love text messages. And what really great things about sending text messages, if you do it properly, one, they can be very profitable, but it builds the relationship and the rapport with your customer so much more because it's it's not like they have to go into their email, it's just going to a text message. Attentive is really, really good about the legalities of SMS because there is a lot of legal parameters. And if you don't go with a company or you don't use an SMS provider really knows the rules and is up to date on all the current rules, you can get sued. In OmniSend, you can actually send messages as well, but I still choose to use Attentive over OmniSend when it comes to my SMS just for the legal parameters. <laughs> Pretty much every single step or every single broadcast or sequence that I have people in going through my SMS automations. It is to the T inside the legal parameters that is allowed with SMS. That is why I really, really love SMS. They are again, probably another give or take my second or first most profitable form of retargeting. Your open rates compared to emails is doesn't even compare because again, it's on your phone, which means that you're going to have many, many sales. Some other key things with SMS that are really, really important and some fun things that you can do is just like in with OmniSend when I have a pop-up form and I collect an email, I also ask for their phone number. So with my pop-up form, I have two things going. I'm collecting their email and then they're going into a sequence where I'm sending them emails following up with the offer via email, but then I'm also getting them on the SMS side. Maybe they don't give me their phone number. At least I'm still collecting their email and have a contact via email. And then if they do provide their phone number in that form, I can then send the offer and other retargeting messages later on. That is my top three Shopify apps that I personally use for my Shopify store. You can check out all these in the description as well as sign up for my Bosscom course store. So check all that out. And if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.